Hello my lovely friends, it's Tuesday and I have a make paper art layout for you. And I did this one very different. That is the uh, cut file that I used, Fall Doily. And in that cut file there was a beautiful wreath of fall, um, it almost looked like a snowflake to me. and. Then it also had some leaves that were part of the doily. So I deconstructed the cut file and used it in a different way. And I think it really turned out cool. So I removed the acorns and I removed the uh, cut file, or uh, cut file, the um, leaves. And I made the leaves different sizes in silhouette and cut them out separately and then I was left with the doily portion which I then I, to me it looked like a snowflake so I then just colored it and changed the opacity um, and silhouette and then I printed it on a 12 by 12 cardstock so that's how I did a very unusual twist on a cut file for make paper art so um, I really love how it turned out. I think that it's, you know, really pretty. I love that fall doily cut file because it had so many options available for me to use. Like, I loved the acorns and I wanted to try and incorporate them, but this is actually a picture of um, my father and my brother and I when I was little in the 70s. And so, oh, that's the back of the the printed I tried to print it two different ways so <laughs> that's the back um, so what was I say oh it, it's a picture at Christmas time so even though it does have you know it doesn't get very cold here and we don't really have snowflakes or anything but I just wanted it to be reminiscent of the picture being around Christmas and so I did my own little adaptation. We do have lots of leaves, um, you know, usually they're brown <laughs> and we don't really have many snowflakes, but um, I just thought this would be a good twist on how to use the cut file in a different way. So I went ahead and grabbed some gesso and I covered the background and I wanted to let that dry down and I used clear gesso because I didn't want to cover up all of those lovely doilies. And so um, I also rubbed a little gesso on my leaves just because I wanted to make sure all of the mixed media matched. And everything is going to blend together beautifully on this background paper. And it's going to be very mixed media. <laughs> So I'm back on my mixed media kick. So you're probably going to see a lot of mixed media from me. Oh, and I don't know if you've noticed, but my meds have finally kicked in. I'm still coughing a bit, but um, yeah, I've been on my meds for a solid week now and I feel so much better. I am worn out from going to a weekend crop. I was there. It was a five hour drive too. So Bab and I went and it just about wore me out after being sick for over two weeks and then doing that crop and then this is my first day back and I'm playing catch up on everything and it's just like but but at least I have a voice I, I'm super excited about that so <laughs> and I'm excited to be back to actually making content for YouTube so I wanted to get this narrated and out to you and I don't want to relapse and have no voice or sound terrible anymore. So I was like, this is a good day to edit videos. <laughs> so I'm going to let those dry. I'm going to push them off to the side. I just used some scrap paper, I believe, um, in order to cut those out. And then I used a paper pad from Die Cuts with a view for the very back of the paper. It was called Tres Chic and it's not really my aesthetic anymore so I just used it to back that white cardstock. I'm not sure where I disappeared off to but I know I'll come back. <laughs> 
So I was just cleaning up my area, I guess. I was getting some wipes and letting everything dry. So now I've got this background paper and the shimmers I used was Sunset and I let that dry and I'm gonna go in. I used some Artist Loft um, color, watercolors for the leaves and I'm gonna bring that back and put it on this background paper as well. I'm trying to decide what I, I think I had to, I wanted to glue down this little edge that was warping and popping up so um, anyway, I'm going to get pretty heavy handed with my mixed media here and just kind of go to town with some oranges and some golds and some mustard yellows. And I really love how messy it is. It just, it, it tied the leaves together. It tied the doily together. I just think it turned out really nice especially with the colors in the picture the picture is you know from the 70s so it's kind of <laughs> not the greatest quality of picture and i think it's kind of funny because last time i did a layout with my dad in it and my brother it was a picture of my dad wearing icons all over his shirt and i don't ever remember him wearing stuff like that and then this picture has a picture has a picture this picture has my brother in it wearing a shirt with icons all over it and i guess that must have been a thing in the 70s and i just didn't think anything of it but um yeah it's just good good times to remember so <laughs> and i'm so little there and i'm wearing a turtleneck and i would die if i wore a turtleneck now i would feel suffocated so that's my my mustard yellow turtleneck and i'm the little short blonde there so um so i just decided to grab some of the new autumn beauty paper from cheeky studio and layer that on the back of the photo and then i'm gonna try to arrange these leaves in a way that i feel add texture and dimension around the photo and just kind of make it make the photo be the center point and everything else just kind of help it pop off the page and i do make a little cluster down there on the bottom left and i'll also bring in some of the ephemera from that autumn beauty collection so if you haven't had a chance to go over to the etsy store for make paper art she does have some new cut files on a regular basis and they're very fun they're very easy to work with and she's always coming up with new content so make sure you check that out and if you want to save 10 percent, you can use my discount code that is tuesday 10 and that's tuesday with an e not a y so there's this, another scrap of that autumn beauty collection from cheeky and it's just a nice neutral brown and I had the bottom I had the bottom of that there was a big floral on it but I didn't want to cut into that part so I just used the the brown here and of course that goes well with the picture because <laughs> everything in the 70s was mustard yellow and brown and neutral colors avocado green I do remember that <laughs> In fact, when I bought my house, this house had an avocado green toilet and bathtub. Can you believe that? Oh, and the wallpaper was like presidential wallpaper. It had, um, it was gold and it had the, e the bald eagle on it with the olive branches in its mouth. <laughs> I could not wait to remodel that bathroom, but I got a good deal on the house, so it all worked out. So again, I'm just adding some of the uh, ephemera from Cheeky and one of the cut apart labels. I'm gonna put a little journaling on that cut apart label that just says 1970s with my dad and brother. And of course, I don't really like my handwriting, but I mean, I do, that's the weird thing. I like my handwriting, but not on my layouts. Very strange, very, very strange course the older you get I think the messier your handwriting gets and I need to slow down and just take the time to make it look prettier 
Maybe that will help. I'm also going to pull in a flare from Cheeky that is um, the Autumn Friends collection. And it's just a little fox. And that's going to go in the lower left of the picture, right over those berries. Also some of the cork embellishments from, that was from the November kit. So you can't get those separately. So there's that little fox I'm going to use. Super duper cute. I love that fox. So we did um, go to a crop this past weekend and um, we are expecting to go to Scrapbook Expo in Irving in February. So we'd love to meet you there. If anyone's going and they're local to this area, come by and visit me and say hello. I would love to meet you in person. So there you go. There is the final product. Again, very heavy handed with some splatters to finish it off. And I really do love how it turned out. Make sure if you love cut files like I do, go check out that shop. It's I Amanda makes beautiful cut files for you. So um, that's pretty much it. I appreciate you watching. Thumbs up. Use that discount code and go get you some goodies. Ta-ta for now.